Um, so we have continue. We are from group seven, and I am Nuranisha Zwani, Miti Magrami, and my other members that we are presenting with me is Wajihah Miti Magazali. So the current issue that we have chosen is regarding the meat pork meat cut. Then, and why frozen food that was fined for RM 1.5 million for using fake halal logo. Okay, so this is the content that we are going to present today. And the issue regarding this, uh, this. This issue is, is actually a company supplying frozen food was fined 1.5 million by the session courts after pleading guilty to seven charges of using, owning and offering fake halal logo after a meat cutter scandal was exposed in December 2020. And Judge Fatima Zahari imposed the fine on LY frozen food Sinabal Hat, which is uh, represented by its director, Yong Chi Kyong, 42 years old, uh, who pleaded guilty to the charges. And a Australian halal logo to indicate that the food was safe for Muslim in a manner contrary to paragraph 4, subsection 1 of the trade description, certificate, certification on marking of halal order 2011. And uh, this man is actually the director that uh, was, was found guilty, which is Yong Chi Kyong, the director of the LY frozen food that was being fined. And the issue is whether the director was liable for breach of director's duty for use the fake of halal logo and for the law that was involved in this case is about section uh, 211 which is the power of the director is to manage the affairs and business of company and another law that was involved in this case is about section 213 subsection 1 the duty to exercise director's power in good faith and in the best interest of the company and then next we go move we move on to the education part. The LY frozen food mercantile was scandal involving a group of individuals who engaged in fraudulent activities in the meat industry. The cartel operated by manipulating meat prices, supply to increase profit and control the market. As a result of the meat cutter's action, consumers were unknowingly purchasing and consuming super and potentially unsafe meat products. The scandal led to public outrage and a loss of trust in the meat industry. Regulatory agencies implemented stricter monitoring and enforcement measures to prevent similar incidents in the future. The directors doesn't comply with the section 213 subsection 1 as said in the law that directors must exercise in his power with proper purpose for the best interest of company. And the last one is uh, for the conclusion of this. Uh, the director was liable for breach for, of director's duty for use of fake halal logo. The government has the right to sue LY frozen food as they don't comply with both of the law that was involved in this case. And then I will pass to Wajiha to present regarding the next part. Uh, thank you, Anis. So based on the issue that was presented just now, uh, the court order session say that uh, all the accused were charged under the section 5, section 1A and section 5, section 1C of the Trade Description Act as well as uh, the Trade Description which is a certificate and halal marketing order. The reason is uh, because their activities came to the light during an integrated trade at a warehouse in Senai where 6.47 million Ringgit of the products with fake halal logos was was seized. Uh, next, so what can the directors do to prevent themselves from being charged? Firstly, the, the directors uh, should up, uphold high ethical standards and act with honesty, integrity, and transparency in all their dealings, which is uh, they should promote a culture of ethics and compliance within the company. Uh, next, uh, directors should uphold high ethical standards and act, sorry. Next is uh, directors should exercise their duties uh, with due care, skills and diligence. So they should make informed decision based on the, uh, throughout the analysis and consider the best is the best interest of the company and its stakeholder. And lastly, the director also should seek the professional advice such as uh, legal counsel or financial adv advisor when it necessary. Consulting expert in specific areas can help uh, directors uh, make sound decision and nav navigate complex legal issues. 
minus. So from this case, what we should learn from it is uh, the directors must act in good faith in the interest of the company as a whole. And it's not a permit to make personal profit by virtue of uh, his position with uh, the company. And also, the directors must act a proper purpose, which is the power given to the directors must not be exercised for any improper purpose. So that's all from our group. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, thank you. A very interesting uh, topic. Yeah. And uh, of course, you see, all it goes back to integrity, right? So good job, guys.